Well, it is estimated that more than 1 million Americans suffer from vitiligo. If you're like me, it's a term you never heard of until it was discussed with Michael Jackson. He said he had vitiligo, but it is a disease that causes loss of skin color in patches like you see here. And those discolored areas usually get bigger with time. Now it can include premature whitening or graying of your hair as well, even your eyelashes, your eyebrows, or your beard. It can start at any age, but it usually appears before the age of 30. And something else, well, uh, although it can occur in all different skin colors, it's more noticeable in people who have black or brown skin. And here's the other thing, it can affect all parts of the body, not just on the arms where you might notice it on a person, but it does look different from person to person. In most cases though, the loss of pigment spreads and usually evolves most of the skin. Recently, the FDA approved the first drug treatment to restore pigment in the skin of vitiligo patients. It is a topical cream that belongs to a class of medications called JAK inhibitors. It helps stop the immune system from being too active and then destroying the pigment cells in the body. One year of using the cream, about half the patients who use it will get 75% or more of their pigment back on the face, and about half the patients will get 50% or more of the pigment back on the whole body. The cream is approved for adults and kids 12 and older. It requires a prescription. Researchers sh say as a topical medicine, it was well tolerated by patients and has a good safety profile. And like I said, you personally might not know anybody with this skin condition, but there are some very popular celebrities who have it and have been open to talking about it. American model Winnie Harlow helped normalize vitiligo on the runway, and she's been in a million beauty campaigns too. She competed on America's Next Top Model and has been featured in magazines like Vogue and Cosmo. But like I said, one of the most famous celebrities to have vitiligo, the king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. Many people accused the actor back in the 80s and 90s for the drastic change in his skin color as it started looking lighter. But looking back, it was most likely to cover up the discolored patches of skin that he was experiencing from vitiligo. Jackson would use fair colored makeup and it's speculated that he also used skin bleaching prescriptions and creams to help mask this condition further. Yeah, I remember when he first uh, started talking about it, he got so much slack from people because people didn't believe. They thought he just didn't want to look like himself anymore. Right, and, and I mean, I guess it was the, the plastic surgery mm -hmm. and that coupled with the vitiligo, he, he did not look like the Michael Jackson of Jackson 5, right. but you know, history is always the true interpreter of truth. And when you look back on it, yes, he was, he was 100% dealing with this condition. Yes, and his son has also spoke out. His oldest son says that he also has vitiligo Does and has he? been active talking about wow, it I'm on sorry. social media.